Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome to the Disc 1 finale of Let's Play Xenogears! Let's escape from Solaris. But before we do that, let's uh, rearrange our party. Of course, we are going to be using the overpowered Satan as usual. And now we'll finally put a use to Emeralda. She's basically Ellie, but better in every way on foot. Her ethers are cheaper, they're, they have more accuracy, well, perfect accuracy, and she is a lot faster, which is going to come in handy on the way out, because we could run into some of those Solaris soldiers that have 12 speed, but I can get all of my party members up to 13 speed with the right equipment. So, yeah, let's see what we got here. Yeah, we got the new super speed ring that'll help out Faye there. Chitan doesn't need the help on speed, and he's perfect with the power crisis anyway. I decided to split up the Dark Armor and the Dark Helm between the two, so they both get a little bit of a ether defense boost. And Emeralda, I'm going to mostly give her Ellie's equipment that I've already removed off screen there. So, I like using the Angelic Robe better than the Crimson Robe, even though you get a little more physical defense there. But, yeah, the ether defense and the evasion is just too much to ignore there. Let's see, the Ruby Helmet is definitely better than the Feather Cap there. And let's see, I want to give her a speed ring to get everyone up above 12 speed. Or you could also use the Evasion Ring if you wanted to. By the way, speaking of accessories, let's see, I don't know what the Muscle Belt does. If you know, viewers, let me know. I looked it up in like a Battle Mechanics Guide and even they don't know what it does. So, I mean, I'm guessing it's like the Guardian Ring or something, but I never use it, and the Guardian Ring's day is pretty much through. And, oh yeah, by the way, uh, Emeralda does not have a weapon, just like, well, half the characters in this game, evidently. But, alright. So, let's see what we got going on here. Oh! Yeah, yeah. Sounds like a plan. Actually, you know what? Let's take a moment to bring Bart and Billy into the party so I can talk to Sitan and Emeralda while we're at it since we can't talk to party members that are in our active party. I'm not Faze Kim. Just call me Faye. Oh, that reminds me. I wanted to... Uh, look up something when I bring her back into my party. Oh. Yeah. Choo-choo! Not gonna be too useful here. She only gets access to her regular ethers and that's it. Well, where'd your father go? Well, I guess you're about as safe with us as anywhere else. Well, soon you'll literally be in the same boat as us. Eventually, though, how are we going to get out of here? I mean, we got to go through the hangar and all that, but now well, we'll figure something out when we get there. <laughs> I don't think so, Rico. I mean, we've kicked their ass at every turn, practically. And if you uh, talk to Hammer here, I like how they're hanging out with Rico, the two of them. Nice little touch there. But yeah, you can uh, buy items or sell stuff. I've already sold my excess items off screen, but... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah I guess... Hammer's not going to take no for an answer. I can't cancel out of it until I go into a shop there or something. Oh, then why did we escape to here? Shouldn't they have cameras, like, everywhere in Solaris? What do you mean by that, Jesse? Yeah, probably just nostalgia or wishful thinking or whatever. But, okay, yeah, now let's actually get our party back the way I want. Unfortunately, yeah, we don't have access to Maria. She would be a house at this part. But, yeah, she's... She, has, she took off with Zeebsen, so... Maybe we're gonna meet up with her at the end or something, I don't know. But, okay, yeah, let's get going then. Let's get out of here. Gotta get to the hangar, and I don't know what we're gonna do. Maybe we can find an airship to steal or something. But, well, let's raid the server room while we're at it. 
A little better ammo for Billy if you're going to use him. But yeah, I don't think that's necessary. I wouldn't even use those, really. By the way, as you're going through this whole area, there's going to be a whole lot of fake doors that are just like part of the background. You can't actually open them. One thing I wanted to also point out, you see Faze wait there? And see Tom? Okay, he's a little taller. He weighs a little more. How does she weigh that much? She's like six years old. Okay, she's 4,000 years old. But still, dude, I guess that's the nano machines or something. If you ever don't understand anything about something regarding Emeralda, just nano machines, son. That's your answer. Pretty much, yeah. And there's a little bit of treasure we can get around here. Nothing too extraordinary, but it's there. We might as well get it. So far, the encounter rate's taken it pretty easy on me. I've actually gotten through this whole part of the hangar, the laboratory or whatever, with like one random encounter in one of my test runs. It was obscene. Usually, it doesn't take it quite that easy on me, but we'll see. Well, you know what? Let's take a moment to show off some of the new stuff that we got here. Okay, Faye is the same as always there, but you notice Titan has a sword now. Hooray! And that'll change all of his death blows there. But let's see what we can do with uh, Emeralda here. Did you just turn your hair into a hammer? Ha -ha. Nano machines. Nano machines. Uh, that's how she attacks, viewers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, with Shitan, now that he has access to his swords, all of his death blows. Uh-oh. Wow, I thought that would actually be enough. Huh. Okay, never mind, then. She turned her foot into a drill! Man, no wonder she doesn't need a weapon. <laughs> but yeah, uh, with Sitan's death blows, now that he has his sword, yeah, all of them have different names and animations to them. And, of course, you're, he's a lot stronger with the sword now, too. So that's pretty nice. But, yeah, one thing I want to do between discs is I'd like to show off all of the six AP death blows, but I'll have to do that twice with Sitan because he has his hand-to-hand -hand death blows and his sword-wielding death blows there, too. So yeah, I'm not going to do the 7 AP death blows right away, because uh, Faye needs to get up to level 80 to get all of his. So I'll just save that for like a post-game or bonus episode or whatever. But yeah, now we actually have the sword in the inventory. For some reason, you, it doesn't show up until you've gotten into a battle there. But yeah, I mean... Yeah, look at that attack power compared to everyone else. If he wasn't obscenely powerful enough, he is now! Especially if he actually takes some damage, eventually. By the way, all the enemies that we're running into around here, they're the same as before, so nothing new around here. I just wanted to show off Emeralda there. Uh, what is she, like a shapeshifter or something? I don't know. But I guess nano machines. maybe it's like a, like a T-1000 sort of thing. I, yeah. Well, we get a little more ammo there for either Billy or Renmazio. I forget which one that goes to. Whatever, I, I never even use that ammo regardless. I'll just equip it just because it's free. We might as well. It's not worth selling, even. And I'm just going to be heading to all the rooms that actually have stuff. There's actually quite a few... Uh, save points around here, too. And switch point, Party switch points, too. Seems kind of odd that they put so many of them around here. 
I mean, it's not like we got like a boss gauntlet or something we're trying to get through here, whatever. And heck, we can probably get from save point to save point a lot of the time without a random battle at all. I don't think we can actually get into random battles in rooms with save points, though. I could be wrong on that, but I have not personally observed that. And it's only a couple more treasures to get around here. Where am I? Am I? Ah, we gotta go this way. Better than the sharp stick in the eye. What have they got all these meeting rooms for around here? Like, they got conference tables around here and some? But there's nothing there. Just kind of empty space. And whatever works for these guys, I guess. They practically run the world. They can do whatever they want. Let's see, I think... Yeah, yeah, we turn left here. Unfortunately, we don't have to open every door around here. Yeah, Emerald is one of my favorite characters in the game. Not just because of the green hair. I mean, that's a nice touch, too. But, I mean, she's really fast. She's pretty decent on uh, melee attacks, not to mention her ethers. Her gear, uh, Crescent, is the fastest gear in the game that we get, so that's pretty nice. So, yeah, she's both good on foot and in gears. Unfortunately, she doesn't really have a special option like air rods or anything like that, so... I mean, she's not the end-all, be-all, but by the time we care, she'll be able to hit the cap on damage with her death blows or regular attacks anyway. How's it going? Oh, why not? I mean, they're on the boat. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah, where's your dad? Is he leaving with us? Well, you picked a pretty bad place for your home. Might want to start rethinking that. Different lifestyle choices. Oh, yeah, isn't it always? Well, what do you mean? What's the worst that could possibly happen out there? Yeah, I wish I had a little bit more camaraderie between Hammer and uh, Rico there. Maybe a little more backstory for them, too, but... Eh, oh well. The game already has more than enough plot as it is. But, okay, yeah. I want to take out Emeralda there. How's Citan doing there on his levels? Hmm, yeah, not quite where I want to be. Let me actually just bring in these guys for a moment so I can talk to... Titan and Emeralda while we're out here. See if they have anything interesting to add. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're getting there. Oh, I thought this was a hanger, but okay. All right, well, actually, I do want to uh, change party members. I was thinking about Titan's level there, because at level 60, he gets his haste ether, and if I actually had that for him, I would not bring Billy into my active party, but I don't have it yet. <laughs> so I'm going to have to use Billy, which is usually what happens. Usually, I'm not even this close to learning that for Sutan, but oh well. Okay, but I do want to change things up a little bit. Actually, not so much for Faye. Not for Sutan either. But I do want to change things up for Billy. Okay, let's see. How are your uh, bullets doing? Yeah, we're doing good there. Okay, that was ammo for Billy, not for Nazio. I just thought the G meant it was uh, gear ammo. But I do want to get some better armor for you. So let's go with our good old crimson vest and feathered cap that I held on to. And let's see. Could use a little help. 
on speed, but I'm just going to go with the evasion ring. I think Satan and Faye would be more than good enough. Not to mention, Billy has haste for us, so we'll be good there. And I don't need to use attempt, but I might as well, since Satan is already at max HP anyway. Yeah, he got fully healed up when he uh, took off. Stabbing me in the back all the time! Jerk. But alright, yeah, we should make a backup save. Last one for the disc. Last save point on the disc. Well, yeah, check. But alright, let's get out of here then. So, are we gonna meet, like, Zeepsent here? Or. The Yggdrasil? Huh? What's the problem? Are we just going to steal an airship to get out of here, or what? I don't know. What the? Well, return where? Whose side are you on? So what do you want with Ellie? Oh. Well, yeah, he's... One of the guys in charge. What do you mean by that? I don't know. I mean, I could maybe guess. But, yeah, I don't know what's in exact, exactly going on. Well, then don't hold her at gunpoint. What do you mean? So, you got the connections, man. It's not what you know, it's who you know. Oh, well, you haven't been talking for, like, ever since we got out of Kislev there. you just been kind of stuck in that room there or something. If you're trying to hold Ellie hostage, shouldn't you point the gun at her, not her mom? Hmm? Is that like an abbreviation for Hugo? Well then, what do you do? Yeah, I, I would think you're anything but normal with Ellie as your daughter, but whatever works for you. I don't think a meat shield is going to be too effective against a laser gun. I, I don't know. Call me crazy? Especially when I don't have any equipment on you or anything. Besides, Ellie's got the, well, her own equipment. Well, she did, I guess. Bloody scream! So real. Freaking out, man. Uh, okay. I'm not exactly sure what that was all about, but all right. Uh, Billy, you got a heal spell or something? Let's get out of here before Krellian finds out that hammer screwed up. What the? What do you want with her? I thought Faye was the one you wanted. And the other guy with 
Broth there. You might remember that guy from when we first got to Kids Love, and that was the uh, one that had Faye transferred to the D District or whatever was there, or D Block. Thinking of another game with D District prisons. But no, no. Uh, also, they gave the gate to Kids Love in the first place, but okay, this is definitely the party that I want to do, or I want to use. Can we defeat Groth? Let's find out right now. For boss time against Graf and the Executioner. Guess what status ailment the Executioner can inflict on us? If you say sleep, I'm gonna hit you. No, no, they can inflict. Uh, what is it? No, I want to uh, attack. Up. But yeah, uh, the Executioner can inflict instant death on you. So yeah, you wanna be careful dealing with that. But first things first, let's buff up. Graf isn't actually, like, the big threat for this fight. It's the Executioner because, well, with the Executioner, they can inflict instant death on you. So let's see. Let's get... Yeah, let's get Faye buffed up there. Even though Shikan is stronger, he actually has the ability to buff up others. While Faye does not. And I would like to get... Oh, wait. Can they buff up Sikhan with his... With that one? The... Well, whatever that other one was. Well, first things first. Let's uh, get fully buffed up here. And then we'll go after the Executioner. And the fight will go down pretty quickly there. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that only works on yourself. So let's go with Iron Valor, which does stack with the, all those other buffs, even though there are three buffs that mostly do the same thing, they affect the same stats there, they stack with each other as long as they're, they, the buffs have a different name. But alright, let's just go with our most powerful ones. See how well that works. Let's see, the Executioner has 4,444 HP. Yeah, look at that damage. And let's see. Uh, Satan, or no, uh, Graf has 5,000 HP. Same as before, actually. But yeah, once you take out the Executioner, the rest of the fight should be relatively simple. I'm probably going to have Sitan heal up Billy just to play it a little conservatively. Or I could finish off the Executioner. Yeah, I'm going to finish off the Executioner. I don't want to take a chance of an instant death, even though Billy might die from another hit. But worst case scenario, he could heal himself. Hopefully. Or just heal up the party. Yeah, look at that damage. Even without the triple buffs that uh, Faye has. If I can just get to Billy's turn and get like a multi-targeting heal on the party, that could get the job done. Uh-oh. Hmm, kind of reminds me of one of Faye's death blows. Eh, it's probably just a coincidence. But, wow, I'm lucky... Oh! I should have left Sitan low on HP with the power crisis. Not that it matters. I'm going to kill Graf with one more attack anyway, but it's the principle of the thing. I forgot about it for a split second, and... Eh. Oh, well. Yeah, I should have just had Billy heal himself. Yeah, you notice on uh, Phase ATB bar there, or Time Gauge, whatever. I don't know what all those Japanese symbols are. But yeah, you notice Faye already lost his uh, haste there. So I think the strength buffs last 
I don't know if they last forever or indefinitely, but they last long enough to get the job done. Aha! Gotcha! Yeah, kind of a anticlimactic boss, final boss fight for the disc, really, considering yeah, it wasn't really that extraordinarily difficult, but... Alright, so yeah, that's the uh, haste buff that Sitan gets. So, yeah, Sitan is now pretty much better than Billy in almost every way. On foot, that is. Uh, in gear, that's a different story. 